Hey, so welcome to this FTP in five. Hope you've got some water. Hope you've got a towel. Fan on, windows open. Let's get that ready for the effort ever ahead. There we go. So, description up on the screen. You need a bike or a smart trainer that's going to enable you to measure your power in watts. Either an indoor bike or a smart trainer. Either will do. And you need to be able to record your power data either on a bike computer or on a smart trainer. And when we hit that five minute effort, let's see if you can measure that power output. A lot of bike computers have got a lap key on them. Just hit the lap key and then you can isolate the five minutes. Or if you just download the file afterwards, put it into a, an app or upload it to something like Strava or Garmin maybe. And you just need to be able to isolate the five minute effort because what we're looking for is your average power output for that five minutes. Do you have a light day or an easy day training yesterday? You need to give your body the best shots possible. And before you've done this ride this morning or this afternoon, make sure no caffeine and that you've munched on some carbs. All that's right, then we're ready to go. I'm going to do this test for you today. Oh, I'm going to do it together. I'm going to feel your pain, all your fun. And I see you smiling all the way through. So we've got a 10 minute warm up. Make sure you're nice and comfy on the bike. In five minutes, five minutes, five seconds, I want you to just add a little bit more gear, warming those legs through, ready to go. So don't hold anything back on this warm up. You've got to be almost at dripping stage when you hit that five minute effort. So if you think holding back is going to help you, it's really, really not, I promise. So just to make sure the legs are good and fired up, we're going to do two 10 second sprints. A little bit later. When we drop into that test, I'm going to go on mute. You don't need to hear me dying. I can't like to hear all your grunts and groans and screaming. Or maybe you just go quiet. <laughs> just going to change rings here. Doesn't like that, my bike's not playing, but oh, that doesn't bode well for the test, does it really? There we go. Much better. Keep it nice and fluid in the legs. So, a couple of things when you do the test. You want to be heading for a leg speed of between 80 and 90 RPM. If you've got a bike computer, just keep an eye on that. Don't want to be grinding out the gears. Between 80 and 90 is a good mix of the muscle fibers in your legs. You want to be recruiting as many of those fibers to help as possible. So about 80 to 90 is a good guide. Stay on your bum for the whole five minutes. No standing, it's a seated effort. What we're trying to replicate here is your maximal sustainable power output for one hour. You're just going to do a five minute test. So just over a minute to that first sprint. I've used this test many, many times with clients, retested to find their FTP number. It's a, your FTP equals 100%. That's your 100% number. That's what we're looking for. As an instructor, 
I've done an hour test, 20 minute test, ramp test, this test many, many times over, just to see the differences in the results. And all my numbers are pretty much there or thereabouts. So this will give you a good approximation of your FTP, good enough for you to set your training zones. Right, in about 30 seconds, we're gonna hit that first sprint. So I want you to start to load up the gears and you're gonna go flat out, 10 seconds. Big deep breaths. Going in 10 seconds and prepare. In five, three, two, one. Keep pushing. Two, one, and recover. 50 seconds recovery until the next one drops in. And you're not gonna have time to drink when we're doing the test. You're gonna be breathing in and out through your mouth. Not really a good combination. So if you need to do a sip, because your mouth maybe's gone a little bit dry already, grab it now. How are you doing? Is this your first test? Exciting. You've got this, honestly. You really have. Go in three. And hit it. Three, two, one. Okay, just less than three minutes. So now's the time to prepare. Mentally, how's that heart rate doing? Should have gone. Right up, working on just getting a little bit of control back here before you go. So if you're going to be using your lap key, I'll count you in, three, two, one, you're going to hit your lap key. Or if you're just going to download it later, I'll count you in and you're just going to go. Try not to hold too much back. It's, it's, that, it's that kind of porridge too hot, porridge. Do you want the porridge just in the middle? Just about right. If you get to four minutes and you're not almost dying, you can start loading on. We're after an average power. So that's what's gonna happen. We're gonna measure the average power. So you can still gain a little bit in that last minute. Where's my heart rate? Oh, get that down. My adrenaline is banging in my chest because I just love doing these. I'm only doing this today because a client did one this morning over Zoom with me. I kind of fired me up. I thought, yes, get that done. A little gift to you. Just less than a minute and a half. So as I said, I'm going to mute. No help from me. Music set at about 80 RPM. If you want to use that beat to help you. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Bang on 80 RPM. Yep. Or a little bit quicker. Minute to go. It's a very handy little countdown timer on the screen to help you along. Come on, you've got this. Let's do this together. How happy are you? How scared are you? It's fine, honestly. I'm not gonna lie, that's not easy. You got to the end of the film? Yeah, that was really easy, it was fine. You know what I'm gonna say? No surprises. Going in 20 seconds. So get ready on that lap key, if you're gonna hit the lap key. Get in a good position that you feel comfortable with. Ready to go, in 10 seconds. Five, three, two, see you on the other side.
I hope you hit that lap key. Give me a minute. Are you back with me? Are you still dying out there? I'm just, just about coming back down to the threshold. If you were tracking your heart rate, you should have been seeing maximal numbers. 95% plus heart rate. If it's still measuring in the 80s, either your heart, max heart rate's not set correctly, or you've got a lot more to give. Well, thanks folks. Okay, so how do you calculate your FTP? So once you've finished the ride today, I'm gonna to put this down in the description so you can see. You're gonna take that five minute average power number. Then you're gonna multiply that number by 0.85. For example, if your number for the five minutes was 200 watts, multiply it by 0 0.5, 0 0.85 rather, you get 170 watts. That is your 100% number. That's your FTP. Once you've got that number, then you can calculate your training zones. So you've got the training zones there up on the screen. Again, I'm gonna have you stand in the description. If you want a handy little Excel spreadsheet that calculates that for you, you just drop me an email. Email's in my about section. Drop me an email, I'll send you the Excel, and then you can calculate every time your FTP changes, you can calculate the number. How's the recovery coming down? Still dripping like a guten. <laughs> Wait for that heart rate just to come down a little bit before you grab some fluids. So if that's your first time, might not be your best shot because you you're not quite sure what's coming up. However, don't do that test again immediately. I'll tell you how often you should do that in just a minute. But don't beat yourself up. It is what it is, it's, a, it's just a number. The good thing about your FTP is you can work to push that up. Now your max heart rate is, is, an, is, a, is an absolute number. And, it, and you can't physiologically do anything to push your max heart rate up. And as you get older, I'm sorry to say, your max heart rate number will come down. So if you've done that test really, really accurately today, and you've got some good numbers, if you're going well over your max heart rate, you may want to look at how your max heart rate is, is set. That five minute effort should reflect between about 95% and 100% of your max heart rate. That's what you're aiming for. So as I said, you can work on your FTP. You can push up your FTP by doing some targeted training. Build your aerobic base. Do some sweet spot training. Do some threshold intervals. Lots of sessions, lots of workouts on my channel to help you along. Or if you're out on the road, do some of those kind of efforts on the road. You should be leaving it about six weeks before you do that test again. Do some targeted training in between, and then hit that effort again. Okay, if you need longer to cool down, folks, please go ahead. Continue to cool down. You're feeling that lactate still in your legs. Otherwise, I'm gonna stop very shortly. Are you still smiling? Please leave some comments down below. Uh, leave it, give it a like if you like, you'll like it. Okay, well you know what I mean. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for playing along today. It's been an absolute pleasure. I've enjoyed it, I hope you have too. Till next time, thank you very much.